Hi everyone, my name is Gabby and I'm a data analyst for BT Provider. Today we'll look together how we can build a Marimeco or a Meco chart. This is a type of chart that works such as a stacked bar plus a tree map or for a better understanding, a stacked bar both horizontally and vertically. The usability is that it will give us the possibility to display another variable to look at. So let's start creating one by connecting to the global superstore data, which is available from Tableau, and we'll start by making a um, table. So let's bring, for example, region onto the rows, and we want to look at, at categories, and let's say sum of sales, and we bring it to text. Next, what we want to do is just put the sales as um, a percentage of sales for each category within the region. So we'll apply here a table calculation. We're going to make a percent of total and we'll compute using the specific dimension and we'll keep category. So now we can see that this was done. Next, let's bring the measure values on so that we can bring more measures. Um, so just so we can reference it, let's bring back the sum of sales here. And now we're going to bring two calculated fields, which we previously made. So we'll bring on the region sales. This is the first calculated field. Let's see what it does. So it's um, fixed. So it's an LOD calculation, which will bring us the total regional sales for each region. And this calculation will help us determine the width of each bar on the horizontal stack. Next, let's bring the running total region, which is the second calculation that we did. And when we look at it, okay, this will, uh, what it does is just a running total with making sure that it will keep all the values the same for each region. So for example, if it's the first row, then if it's the first row, it will give us the region sales for that specific region. And um, otherwise, it will check if the region is the same as in the previous row. And whenever there is a region which is different, uh, it will add the new regional sales to the one before. So whenever the region changes, it will bring the region sales and add it to the new region sales. So that's what the running total per region does. We brought in this calculation as well. And now that we brought all the details that we need in this table, let's just keep it here for the sake of coming back and seeing the values. And I'll duplicate and we'll start building our view. In order to do that, let's bring the measure values. We'll take them from text and we'll put them on two details. Then we can get rid of the measure names. Now we'll bring category to detail and then market uh, or region to detail. So let's just bring them in this order. So I'll take category and bring it on to detail and then I'll take region and bring it on to the detail section. Okay. Now um, we'll take the sum of sales and that is uh, the one with the small triangle here. So the sum of sales, which has a table calculation in it. Let's bring this onto the rows here. And then onto columns, we'll bring our running total. Let's take it from here and put it onto columns. And we know that it has two values. It has two measures here. So Tableau automatically makes a scatter, but that's not a problem because we can change the mark to bars. And now let's put the um, region sales onto the size marks. Okay, what we can do now is just Tableau has this new fixed possibility. So let's fix the size and do the alignment to the right. Okay, this will consider the um, right edge of the column as a starting point. And now let's bring category onto column as well. 
So we'll just take it from here and move it to color so that we have different colors for each category. And the region for the text label. Now we see that it's not appearing here. And usually when this happens, we just need to make sure that when we put the um, sum of sales and the running total onto columns or rows, we kept the compute using. So we need to compute this using category and the running total, we'll compute this using the regions. So you see, it's already, it's already starting to look better. So now you can additionally format the marks as desired. And that's it. We've built our macro chart. <laughs> Thank you and have a lovely day.